Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and today we're going to learn how to use the perspective crop tool and uh, this is a new tool within CS6 so we're going to look, you might be learning this for the first time so what you do with the perspective crop tool is you create a crop selection and then you can adjust the perspective to make it look like you're looking at the cropped image in a different way now there are some pitfalls to this where your image may become a little distorted and things like that so it's good to use um, in you gotta know how to use it so it doesn't distort everything don't make huge adjustments and everything like that but we'll get into that later so the crop perspective tool is best used on images that already have perspective to them as you can see this bike the back of the bike is closer to us and the front of this bike is farther away now I want to use this image to maybe make the bike look like it's um, the same size or like going like the same way across so that everything is the same exact closest to us so like bringing this bike tire forward and pushing this one back so what we're gonna do is create a selection right now and then this selection turns into a grid you can adjust any side of the grid you want and it'll move that way so what I'm gonna try to do here is bring this part forward I mean bring this part down I don't need to bring it forward at all I want to keep it straight so let's bring that down and maybe bring this side a little up and this side a little down and what this is gonna do is gonna give me a new perspective on the bike bring this up a little so we're gonna get this looking uh, this type of perspective on the bike now up here at the top I'm gonna hit clear that'll clear out all the information you have in here you can leave it as it is and not type in anything and uh, press enter or hit this check mark up here and you'll get um, a cropped image with a perspective on it so that's what I'm gonna do I hit enter and uh, we've got this image and it didn't work too well um, looks like I didn't go too much I didn't do it too well so here's what we got notice that the image isn't like distorted or anything however well it is distorted but it wasn't too like really distorted I'll show you an example of some of another kind so I'm gonna have to do this again and I'll just try to do I'll just do these real quick this time and not try to get into too much detail so pull this up pull this down try to keep the back tire in there so if I you click on front image it's gonna use the size of the uh, biggest image that's in the front so it's got our different um, inches here of what our image actually is and then the resolution of what the image is and now if I hit um, enter or press that check mark button we're gonna get a image that is the same resolution and now the bike looks like it's a little more straight on instead of uh, instead of more tilted away from us now it's not gonna be perfect because you can see like the bike handlebars and the bike seat are like facing away still so we got some visual cues here that can le like lead our eye to believe that's a little um, facing away but overall it's more towards us in perspective so that's how you use that tool now I just wanted to show you um, how this doesn't work very well on flat images that have no perspective so let's go to this one now this is pretty much a straight-on shot of this um, of this uh, lifeguard tower so let me make a selection on it with the perspective tool and maybe we want to look at it like like we're looking at it from below so let's bring it in like this so this will make it um, wider at the bottom and smaller at the top so if I hit this button here to select it now it distorts the image and it's not really what we wanted to see so I need to go back do it again bring these closer in it's not gonna be perfect 
I just want to save some time. Bring these out a little. And then we'll hit front image and do it again with the image being the right size. And you can still see how it distorts it and doesn't give us the perspective that we uh, really want. So it doesn't work too well on these kind of images that are straight on. It works on well on images that are have more of a perspective. So that's how you use the uh, crop uh, tool. Um, you can uh, toggle the grid on and off on this by clicking on the show grid button. So if those grid marks get in your way and you don't really need to use them at all, um, it helps me see the perspective when I have the grid on because then you can see the way that the uh, grid lines move. So if you got it like this, otherwise it kind of just looks like a uh, square to me, but I mean, you can still see some perspective and everything like that. Also, I just wanted to um, let you know that you can rotate um, the image, uh, the crop image here. So just uh, drag outside the area. I mean, just just like you're uh, rotating with the free transform whenever it turns into a um, double arrow that's bent that means you can rotate so that's it for using the perspective crop tool it gives you um, a crop and then adds the perspective that you created using the uh, transform tools on the crop selection area so that's it, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. It's going to be awesome. See you later.